In this video, we're going to be looking at the law of signs. However, in this situation, we're going to be looking at situations where someone has given us a side and a side and an angle that's not included between the two. We call this SSA in geometry. That means two sides and the angle that's not touching the two sides. Let's just look at this real quick. We've got this angle, 75 degrees. We have this side. 4, and we have a side 12. And as we can see, uh, the angle that we're given is not located in between the two sides, which is what tells us it's an SSA situation. The other thing that makes us realize that we really can't use the law of cosines to find some missing measurements here is the fact that we have angle C and side C. We have two letters that um, that match angle C side C and that's a keynote for the law of law of signs three different letters law of cosines two letters that match we're gonna go with the law of signs so let's just um, write down something we're gonna say the side length C divided by the sine of angle C is equal to well let's see we have side B here so let's go for B over the sine of angle B so we're going to plug in the information that we know. We know C, we know angle C, we know B, and that allows us to use this one variable in our proportion to solve for this one variable. 12 over the sine of 75 degrees is equal to 4 over the sine of angle B, whatever that is. Now once again, I'm going to be covering up this, say with my finger, whatever, and looking to see what's on the diagonal. And these are the two numbers that are on the diagonal, so they're going to be multiplied together. And then we're going to divide by the number that's opposite and diagonal to the variable. That gives us all of our steps for, sorry, the sine of angle B. So we've got 4 times the sine of 75 degrees, and then we're going to divide by 12. Now what we're going to end up with when we do this is we're going to end up with a decimal number. So we're not going to be finding a side length. We're going to be finding that decimal number that we then have to look up on a table to find the angle that matches it or using our sine negative 1, our cosine button on our calculator. Sorry, I'm just going to kind of scoot the rest of the uh, calculations over here and it, it is a little bit messy, a little crowded and I apologize for that. 4 times the sine of 75 divided by 12 gives us 0.3219 and that's equal to the sine of angle B. So if we do arc sine on this number on our calculator we should get angle B and I'm getting 18.8 .8 degrees is equal to angle B. I'm just going to put that information on the diagram Okay, and think what should we do next? Now, very quickly, as soon as you have two angle measurements, it's quite easy to find the third. For the law of signs, you really are going to need to do that to f then find side A. So I'm going to do my quick calculation 180 degrees minus 75 minus 18.8 .8 to find angle A and I get angle A equal to 86.2 degrees. And I think most of you realize that now we have enough information to find side A. I'm just going to scoot to the next page to do that. We have 12 over the sine of 75 degrees. That's our A over the sine of angle A. I'm sorry. That's our C over the sine of angle C. We don't know what A is, but we do know that angle A is 86.2 degrees. Again, when we cover this up, we notice that these are the numbers that get multiplied and then we divide by the sine of 75. So we're going to write that out. Oops. Um, 12 times the sine of 86.2 and then divide by the sine of 75. And we're going to get a, a decimal number a side length, so we're not going to do arc sine on our final answer. 
we get, when we do this, we get 12.4 equals A, and I'm just going to quickly check back on the previous page to see if this makes sense. Because if I've made a mistake, it's going to be fairly glaring. I just... So it's 12.4. Uh, it's the largest slide, just barely, and uh, it's, this is the largest angle. And again, kind of in a just barely mode. This is how we use the law of sines in a situation called side-side angle. Now this one has worked out actually fairly well, fairly simply, but there are a couple of other possibilities that we have to look out for. So that's going to be what we explore in the next couple of videos. This is using the law of sines.